In the automotive world, there are good names, like the Rolls-Royce Dawn. There are bad names, he'll disagree, like the McLaren MP4-12C. And then there are really, really hard to pronounce names that every single person gets wrong. So first up is the latest offering from Alfa Romeo. Not called the Guila Quattroporte, it is called the Giulia Quadrifolio. Quadrifolio actually means four-leaf clover, hence the logos on the car. Yeah. But that is the strangest spelling of Giulia I mean, I've ever seen, as an American, of Quadrifolio course. stands for, as you said, uh, four-leaf clover. And it's pronounced like it's spelled if you took out the G. I don't know why there's a G in there. Quadrifoglio? It, yeah, it looks like Quadrifoglio. The first few times I saw it, I'd be like, it's the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio. Also, in a car name, whenever you see quad or four, you, you think four-wheel drive. Or, or you're not, think, you're before, not thinking uh, four-leaf clover. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Guila, ju, ju, it's Julia. Ju, 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 ju. It's just Julia. Julia. It's Julia. Julia, like the yeah. girl's name. Exactly. Yeah. J-U-L-I-A. J-U. <laughs> Next up, we have the Lamborghini Centenario, which kind of looks like... Centenario, Centenario, it just... It looks like Centenario, but leave it to the Italians for one C being a, pronounced it, like a CH. <laughs> it is uh, so, supposed to be for the 100th anniversary, so yep. there's actually meaning behind that century. You can see the link between that, but uh, it's a very complex name that I'm willing to bet many people are going to screw up the pronunciation of that. Next is the Bugatti Chiron. Now, I'm going to throw my friend James under the bus here. It is not the Bugatti Cryon. That is not even the correct <laughs> order of letters. It's a little dyslexic, maybe. But it's not... Chiron, Chiron, Chiron. Chiron. Yeah, it's I mean, initially, Chiron. I thought it was Chiron when it first So did I, yeah. But it's Chiron, it's French, and then uh, it's not Cran, Cryon. Sorry, James, you're wrong. Next up, we have the Pagani Huayra which is spelled H-U-A-Y-R-A. -A. So it kind of looks like Huayra or Hura, or as Jeremy Clarkson famously put it, sounds like the noise you make when you get punched in the stomach and you throw up. <laughs> Pagani, Yeah, it's a... Uh, it is complicated. It means the god of wind. Of the, yeah. But Huayra. once you know, yes. it's like Y, Ra. Ra. Why rub? Much more difficult than the previous car, the Zonda, which Zonda is very self-explanatory. You can't yeah. screw that up. Whereas the Wyra, it looks a little confusing. So, cool name though. What else? The Koenigsegg Agera R. Apparently, we it's like just, uh, Agera R. Yeah, we just got roasted because we called it the Agera, and everybody was complaining about that. So sorry, guys. There you go. So even automotive enthusiasts, yeah. Agera R is not right. Yeah. It is the Agera and okay, Koenigsegg. That is pretty hard to pronounce. Spelling is harder to, to do than my roommate. That. My roommate would always call it Koenigsegg, and I wanted to punch him every single time he said that. It's not Koenigsegg, it's Koenigsegg. We're just roasting people we know in this video. <laughs> but yes, the Koenigsegg, a Jera R. A Jera. A Jera. A Jera. A Jera. It's not a Jera. You said it. it wrong. See? Damn it. The Agera R. Agera R, yeah. Lamborghini likes to name their cars off Spanish fighting bulls. Now, the latest uh, V10 supercar is called the Huracan, which means hurricane in Spanish. Yes. The Huracan is unfortunately going to be a very hard word to use in rap songs, very... uh, unlike the <laughs> Gallardo or the Murcielago. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see if Akon comes back, if he can say, hop up in my Lamborghini Huracan. It's really sound that catchy. <laughs> but yes. some people hurricane, even call it the Huracan in hurricane. the factory. So yeah. I just call it the Huracan, but yeah. it is not... It's not easy to pronounce. It's, it's, it's kind of confusing. Yes. Next up from Ferrari, we have one of the most pretentious names of all time because if you say it incorrectly, anyone who's associated with Ferrari will probably shoot you or get really angry. So it is the Ferrari 458 Speciale. Yes. Let's just call it the freaking special, just to see how pissed off Ferrari gets. Oh, is that the uh, 458 special? The 458 special. I call it the Speciale. Heard it here first. We actually have a friend who every single time he says it, says it like speciale. Exactly. Like, speciale. Yeah, he, uh, he he loves Ferraris. So. That is how it's pronounced though. Yes, all right. Next up we have another Lamborghini, the uh, Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. That is uh, incorrect. So you are voted off the island, unfortunately. <laughs> it's the Gallardo Superleggera. Yes. Now it is pronounced Gallardo because the name is a Spanish fighting bull. Even though Lamborghini is an Italian company, yeah. it is not Gallardo, and it is Superleggera, not Superleggera. One of my like, favorite commas was 
on a video of his old Lambo. And he goes, you own this car and you can't even pronounce it. It's Gallardo. It's like, no. It's not Gallardo. No. So. Also, Super Legera stands for Super Light. Also, yeah, not Super Legera. <laughs> Porsche. A lot of Americans just say Porsche. I think it's actually, the Germans actually pronounce it like Porsche. Like they say yeah, it, like E8, yeah, Porsche. Yeah, yeah, Porsche. They say it different, but it's not Porsche. It doesn't rhyme with Porsche. Um, no, it's yeah. definitely not a Porsche, <laughs> and it is not a Porsche. Yeah. So Porsche, if, you know what? Actually, at Quail, somebody announced it like Porsche. They're like, really? we're so happy. There's all these great cars really? out here today. The Lamborghini Centenario yeah. and the Porsche. And you're like, uh, no. oh, that's not good. That that's does not make it. you look very professional. So Porsche. Fortunately, the rest of the things are just all numbers. So that is true. Better. GT3 RS. That's pretty hard to yeah, pronounce yeah, wrong, but uh, you cool. never know. Like, I guess. You could be dyslexic. A GRS 3T. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have a Volkswagen. The Volkswagen Touareg, which looks like Touareg, but it's actually not that. I think that's the one that's named after some African tribe, and uh, it's the Touareg. That goes on the list of stupid names yeah in it, my just, opinion. it just looks weird also Volkswagen has really weird names they have the Volkswagen Tiguan which is a little yep. one and then uh the Eos which looks ugly and uh I mean, you have to remember people are going to be hopefully talking about your brand yeah and the cars and if you can't even tell somebody what the name of the car you drive is it's probably going to be an issue yeah I mean I drive the uh the Volkswagen the tour the tour I drive the tour egg yeah. Tor egg. Tor egg. Tor egg. Tor egg. Go. Two, two distinct syllables. Tor egg. What's the last one? I don't know. You have the list. <laughs> so, what rhymes with Sunday? It is Hyundai. Monday rhymes it with is... Sunday. So it's right. Tuesday. All right. And Wednesday. That is true. All right. <laughs> but we are talking about cars, not days of the week so far until we start our days of the week YouTube channel. Look forward to that. <laughs> but no. Today is Wednesday for Wednesday's vlog. Hyundai. Hyundai. Hyundai, yeah. Not Hyundai, not Hyundai. Hyundai. It's Pretty much like, everyone pronounces that wrong. Yes, it's so rather difficult. Hyundai, you might even sound dumb pronouncing it like that, but yeah. it is the correct way to yep. say it. It is indeed. And then the last one on the list is not hard to pronounce. It's just, it gets on the list based on sheer difficulty remembering it because it is the Bentley Continental Flying Spur W12 Mulliner. Yeah, it's 39 <laughs> characters long, 16 syllables. What is it? What? B C B C B C F S W M for short. <laughs> the amount of time it took you to create that acronym was way longer. We caught the supply for W12 Bolander. There you go. So. Like we said, some names are awesome, some are dumb, and some are just extremely hard to pronounce. So hopefully after this video, you can sound a little bit more like you know about cars. If At you least you can any. pretend to, because that's what we do throughout <laughs> all of these videos. <laughs> if you have any other car names that are really hard to pronounce or yeah. just sound ridiculous, comment below, because we'd love to see we some more We would love of to see them. Yep. I'm sure there's tons that we missed. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.